All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome back to some more Alone. I just got thrown. I just got done with like a ten-hour and thirty-minute stream with Hollow Plans of Smite. <laughs> God, arena is so much fun. But yeah, time for some Alone. Apparently, they have new characters, two new characters actually. Egyptian characters or desert characters. It's pretty to be more precise. One of them's epic and one of them's legendary. Let's go ahead and look at the epic first. Damn. Oh, so he's thick. Very thick. He also reminds me of that um Pokemon. Something Sandshrew? I think that's what it is. Or was that the first form of it? Some, something like that. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so his uh, normal skill doesn't do anything. It just hits one enemy. Has a chance to revoke if you put the set on it. Okay. Curls up for two turns by channeling. Attack is reduced by 25% while channeling. And when his channeling ends, it increases by 5% every time you get hit while you're channeling. Oh, okay, so it just absorbs damage. It doesn't give us a max either, so I'm guessing that just keeps going? Like, if you just keep scaling, that's a really damn good tank, to be, on <laughs> to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't give us a cap, so that would be pretty amazing. But there are some characters that can pretty much delete this tank, such as Kang. Because I use Kang to delete any really annoying tank. Okay. Second skill. Oh no, his ultimate skill. Whoops. Ultimate skill deals damage to all enemies with physical damage that also taunts until the damage has reached. Oh. Okay, until your HP hits certain, certain like point, I guess. Uh, phase one cannot avoid enemy attacks, but your crit resist is increased by the amount of your evasion. Okay, so we can't crit. I mean, he can't uh, evade at all. He can only take damage. So, in a way, that's good and bad. Because you want him to take the damage for his um, second skill. Alright, passive 2. Will you receive an attack that is less than 10% of your HP, reflect that damage back at the attacker. Skill 3 inflicts physical damage, well, physical effect that taunts for two turns on enemies that are casting debuffs on you. Reduce attack received from enemies who are inflicted with provoke. That's good and also bad against certain characters, especially Kang if he gets this uh, rebalance that they're talking about. Just because Kang's just gonna constantly be on him. So you gotta kill Kang first, to be honest. This is gonna be a priority for him now, soon. Alright. Now we have this character, too. Who looks really cool. I love. <laughs> I love the little puppets on the hand. Little puppets in the back. Yeah, she looks pretty dope. We're going to go back and look at their skills afterwards. Alright. She does damage to one enemy. Okay, her second skill. Cast the enhanced buff that increases damage by the max HP reduces damage by attack. Increases he'll receive Oh, and it only casts to one ally, too. If only you could change it to the whole party. That would be amazing. 
But if you're having an attacker, I guess that would actually be really good, to be honest. She's like a single target buffer with that. And with those three buffs, oh, actually, it's only two mana? That could actually be really darn good now that I think about it. And that lasts for four turns. Increases damage and damage reduced on damage received. Damage received is reduced. <laughs> Words. Anyway, <laughs> ultimate. Deals damage to all enemies. Cast a enhanced buff that reduces, well, increases all resist rates. That could be good if you don't want to take any debuffs. Or at least attempt not to. Uh, what does it go to? Oh, it goes up to 50. That's pretty decent. What do the passives look like, though? Receive a turn re immediately after defeating an enemy. Attack is increased by 30% during this turn. Oh. Well, if she's strong enough, she can... She can make a snowball effect, to be honest. But I don't think she's, like, that strong unless you're, like, putting the buffs on yourself. Now, if you put this buff on yourself, then go into this, or... something? I guess you could create a steamroll effect, where you just start killing every enemy. But I don't think she's, like, that strong. What is she again? Oh, she's a sport. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna be, like... Too good for that, but you know, that's still extra damage. If there are at least two allies with more HP, you will not become the target of attacks or counterattacks. That's weird because I don't think I've ever seen counterattacks in the game. So, that them saying that is just letting us know that counterattacks could be or well, will be a thing later in the game. From like different characters. If it's not already there. I haven't looked at every single character. But allies that have fallen while using her buffs will immediately be revived. With 30% of her HP once she receives a turn. So she's going to use her HP to revive them? E I'm not sure about that. I am honestly not sure about that. Or maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe I'm just... Maybe it's just based on her max HP is how much you get healed by. You revive. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of that like really wrong. I hope I am. Because that would be like really weird. Alright, let's look at the skills. I'm not going to lie, I forgot to look at them. This. Yeah, there is. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I thought I was going to show it longer, but never mind. Alright, ultimate. Ah, damn, hold up. Okay, that's not, that's not that bad. That actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> I like his voice acting now, to be honest. Oh, alright. Let's see her skills. That's how she fights? What the hell? Okay, that's kind of cool. She catches the puppets and launches them. I guess that's how she, you know, takes her stance when it's her turn.
Okay, so that's how much damage she does with that. Okay, not too much. Let's look at the ultimate. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty neat. <laughs> I let the animation build up, only to turn into like a little spooky ghost and laser everything. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's their skills. <laughs> That's interesting. You know what? Let's do a full out summon. Why not? Another full on summon. God, I, I don't think I'll be able to do these like <laughs> too long. I mean, earning all this through this past like week or two is slowly gonna stop because, you know, I'm gonna start losing. Like all these rewards, you know, boss raid. Once I fully finish boss raid, I'm not no longer going to get any rubies from that. Once I finish tower, well, tower reset, so I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, boss battles. Once I start clearing all those stages, all those are gone. Then once I clear adventure, all those are gone. Then all I have is PVPs. Yeah, PVP. That would be it. Which I haven't PvP'd in a while. I need to. I mean, I get 100 from PvP right now. So, yeah. Pretty soon those summons are gonna die down. Ooh. That's a legendary right there. Who is it? Okay, just one. Hey, we got him. Oh, okay. I guess we got two. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's say there go mana. Hey, another balder? Excuse me? Where is my balder at? I don't think about it. I think he's plus one? No, plus two. So... He could be plus three now, and I could plus four him if I was to get that um, summon selection. Okay. Nice. Oh wow, this one looks not all that good. <laughs> Maybe we got another one of them. <laughs> Probably just gonna mix them together to be honest. Ah, ow, these summons. Dude, my heart, you can't keep doing this. Wait, are we on a 7-7? Seven, seven? Yes, we are. <laughs> ah, dude, what is this rate right now? What, are you saying just because I got the balder, I can't have anything better? They only got like four more summons. Jeez. Yeah, the balder was the was the only luck I'm getting. <laughs> Let's see. I cannot have anything good right now. All right, last three summons. Okay, then we're not gonna just do the whole copying thing now, right? Two more summons. Okay, yeah, they literally just started copying every last summon. I feel like I'm being cheated here, you know? Guess because it's free gems, yeah, I don't, I'm not lucky. Wow, that was terrible. And unfortunate. I see how other people feel with the crappy rates. The 
But then again, I've been getting like really lucky in this game. <laughs> That was my first shitty pools. But I'm happy with the balder. So I'm good. Just that leveling move. I don't know how much do I have for... Okay. I don't think I've done this today. Yeah, I haven't. But yeah, that has been our depressing summons after that boulder pool. <laughs> Are they giving up the master yet? No. We're still just using these. No, not remaster, rebalance. No, I kind of wanted that character too, just to try her out. Alright, let's see. Oh, we actually have um, these little summons too. Nope, not that. These. Which I know we're not going to get anything in, but you know, might as well. Alright. Well. Yeah, like I said, that is that is pretty much all of our summons. <laughs> wow, that was really damn terrible. We got five of them? Jeez. If we were to level all those, then we would actually have them done. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fuse them together. <laughs> like any normal sane person would do. I was going to say, they release this when there's like two more days before this finish? That's weird. Alright. Alright, guys. We're going to leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to continue farming way, way. I think I'm at like 75 now. 70. Yep, yeah, 75. We are really almost there. I'm just going to immediately max her. Um. How many books do I no, nope, not that. How many books do I have now? If I was to do this. I think about like three? Now that I saved up from like my farming. Yeah, three. Okay, so I saved up three of those books and I can get her third skill to four? Yeah, four right now. I just need two more and I can get it to six as soon as I get to her. And that's going to be fantastic. But yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.